What's up guys, it is Jay Beebs here and welcome to another episode of the Cambridge United FIFA 18 Road to Glory. And normally I have longer intros, but it won't make sense unless I show you this. You saw about the title of the video, Harvey Bell, our starting striker, is out for the rest of the season. Burn is at least out for the next two months. And that's going to be an issue because we have some big league games and cup games coming up very, very shortly. So that is a little bit of a pre preface, a little bit of, in case you missed last episode, why this episode probably won't end up being that good for us. But we got to ignore that, focus on the positives, and one of those is Joaquin Gallardo coming out of the Youth Academy, 6'3", center forward from Chile, 57 overall, 84-94 potential. And honestly, we, this is might just be what we need. Not necessarily a starting striker, but a solid backup. Benjamin Vazquez will also be joining the first team. Six foot two, playmaking center mid. It's only 70 to 94 potential though, so that could that could make things uh, not so good. But if it does end up working well and he plays well and he progresses quickly, an absolute weapon to have on the field. Reynaldo Orena will also be joining the first team. Not. No, I'm not honest. I'm not that impressed with him. He's just one of those players. I'm gonna if he turns out to be very good, I'll keep him. If not, I'll sell him. So in the FA Cup, our first game, thankfully we had an easy draw against Newport County, who are obviously down in League Two. Sim, sim that game, got the easy one-nil win. And I've decided to sell Zhu Long Tang to Sheffield Wednesday. If you remember, he's the six-foot-five Chinese center back. I mean, it just didn't just didn't work out. I already have another higher overall six foot five center back, so I just decided, you know what, why not? So in the next round of the FA Cup, we drew Barnsley and we were able to beat them 2-0 as we are now continuing our run. But as we like to do, here's some more bad news. Edna Walsh has torn his MCL. He's gonna be out for the next two months. So at this point, Burn, I believe, is just returning from injury. So we gained a player just to lose another player. And that is honestly becoming the uh, the theme of this season. Sung Soo Oh has been sold to Doncaster, just never had a chance to make the first team. Jong Soo Chang will be has been sold to Birmingham City, just had to get it done. But now we got a, you know we got a big game. We are facing off against Ipswich Town. And here's the lineup for the team. We're playing that 4-3-3. Peacock Pharrell is the keeper. Consum Martin center backs. Lou Wright outside backs. Hughes is in a defensive mid. Sip and McGinnis are the two center mids. Kawachi and Byrne are the outside mids. And Ferreira is the striker. So this is de definitely not at all our first team. But because of fatigue, suspension, and injuries, this is what we have. Ipswich are playing a 5-3-2. A formation I personally struggle against a lot. So we'll see how this game goes. Here are the highlights. See it. And shoots into the lead here. What a big goal that might turn out to be. If you look at the coaching manual, you don't need... He's through here. And a try one now. Well, that's a goal with class written all over it. It looks wonderful when it comes... Well, we didn't lose, but at the same time, we didn't win. A one-to-one -one draw. So that means we will be having a replay. I've decided to sell Lionel Prado to Coventry City. Never worked out for him. Get an extra 800k for him. So we got a little bit of bad news. Eric Kansa has bruised his shoulder. He's going to be out for the next five days. That could be detrimental. Because we have an FA Cup game coming up. So we'll see if Kansa... I don't, I don't think he's playing. Ipswich are in that same 5-3-2. And this is, again, what is our lineup nowadays. Um, Peacock Pharrell is the goal again. Back line is the same except Fernandez Oliveira gets his first start with me at that center back position. The midfield's the exact same and so is the front three. So let's hope we can rebound and have a better game than last game. Right forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Teammates arriving for the cutback here. 
First goal is always a crucial goal, and they've just got it. All going on here. A real chance here. It's a goal. Well, no wonder they're delighted because, what, five, six, seven players... Wonderful goal. He's kept his shot down. And he's... Oh, he's beaten his marker. In a great position to pull it back. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two. Now. So we were definitely missing a, st a strong striker presence. Same, we had more shots on target, but they scored two more goals. I mean, there's a lot of chances we should be finishing, but we can't. Players just aren't good enough. And that's just something that... We're going to have to figure out how we're going to survive the rest of the season. From the first, uh, from the Youth Academy, joining the first team is Lansa Ojuku, Ghanan, from Ghana, goalkeeper, 58 overall, 81-87 potential, long-time backup. But this man that I've been waiting so long for, Fabio Cuesta, right mid, 5'5", five five, however... 65 overall, 91 to 94 potential. He at least has a four-star weak foot. I can't remember if it was a five-star, but I know it's four or five-star weak foot. He is going to be a beast. He will be a key player for us. And, I mean, honestly, all I'm doing is training him to get him to the first team quality so he can get some action. Kofi Salawu will also be joining the first team. Six-foot-five goalkeeper from Ghana. 62 overall, 86 to 92 potential. He might actually end up playing for us at one point. I don't know, but he will he will most likely end up being our backup and the guy we just promoted, probably third string. So we got some more bad news. Uh, Patrick Hill has torn his groin. He's going to be out for the next six weeks. So it's a good thing uh, Hughes was having a good run of form because he has to now play. Renato Pereira will be sold to Bradford City once the transfer window opens. Danny Wamplu will be joining the first team. He asked to come up, I gave it to him, he's going to get sold. So at the end of the season, we did not make it into the playoffs. We ended up finishing 11th on 62 points. I'm not, not, not at all surprised. Too many injuries to the team. Not, you know, we have, There's a very drastic difference between the starters and the backups. It's something I'm trying to work on with the Youth Academy. Get some good, not, not necessarily first team quality backups, but good solid backups. But it wasn't, wasn't meant to be. We're missing three of our best offensive players. So you can't you can't win without offense. Peacock Farrell tied Wright and Martin for the most appearances this season with 51. McGinnis had 48 and Lou had 45. Walsh was our top goal scorer despite only playing 34 games. He had 13. Sip had 11 and Ferreira had 9. Ferra led the team in assists, tied with Walsh with 7, Sip had 5, Nagastuka, Bell, and Koichi, Martin, and McGinnis all had 3 assists. So it's nice to see that the offense, while we may not have, it's very, there's a lot of people helping on offense. I don't even know. Ruben Gallardo, if you remember, is now increased his overall by plus 10. I'm telling you, him and Cuesta remember the names. Bell is now valued at $36.5 million. Walsh is at 19, Kawachi is at 15. So we, you know, we're starting to get a very good squad. Starting to build it, starting to get things to kind of go in our favor. But these are the players that I'm getting rid of. Mark Byrne, he wants a bigger role than I'm offering to give him. I'm getting rid of Mitov just because it's time for him to go. We have better replacements. He will be missed. Darling will also be sold. I don't think I ever, I don't think he ever played for me, so it's just the way, it, unfortunate how it ended. Morris will be leaving. Again, a Youth Academy player that I was really hoping would be very good for us. However, potential just wasn't good enough. He went back first season when he started playing, he was very good, but everyone else just kept improving as he didn't. And Dylan will also be departing because he does not want the, he, does, he, does, he wants a bigger role than I'm giving him. So we have, again, nothing, not much has really changed. We've played 229 games, drew 93, drawn 65. We've lost 71, but we scored 323 goals and allowed 285. 
So yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode of the Cambridge United FIFA 18 Road to Glory. Honestly, I mean, it, it could have gone better, but I guarantee you next season should be better. We got some very good Youth Academy players that should be making pretty much instant impacts. So that is a positive plus if you're a Cambridge fan. FIFA 22, is, I've been posting that now. I'm doing a career mode series with Cambridge United every month. So we're probably on a couple of episodes now. So if you want to go ahead, check those out. Just go to my channel. Should just be some of the more recent stuff that I've posted. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And it is Jay Biebs signing off.